G'day YouTube, it's Patrick Soul. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Los Cutis, the number one beauty blogger in Australia. She's amazing and she's here. Hi hey guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. So today we did a beautiful resting bitch face look. This looks so fierce. This look is giving me old school Lauren Curtis clubbing <laughs> days. Just with way shorter hair yes, yes i yeah, love your hair oh How my gosh is waves. i love it thank you to angel prince angel 1987 on instagram if you guys want to see how we did this beautiful look which you can wear anywhere then keep on watching hey guys so i have lauren curtis here it was so much fun to glam her first i'm going to take this makeup forever hd foundation this foundation is darker she did fake tan the day before and I wanted to match her skin. I'm just gonna prep her lips with this lip oil that she loves and I'm just gonna blend it out with a brush down the neck, down the chin so everything matches. Next, I'm going to take this concealer by Kat Von D, the Locket Concealer. It's new, it's full coverage and it really covers everything. So I wanted to give her a full beat using the Beauty Blender along with this concealer. This is amazing and definitely patting it into the skin will give you a more full coverage rather than swiping it so I'm just blending the edges with a fluffy brush from Morphe from the gunmetal collection and I'm gonna cream contour her face using this cream foundation I found at Alco just gonna draw some whiskers on the face because I wanted to bring some brightness right here onto her face we definitely want something full glam glamorous and fierce so I wanted to brighten up this area to bring some light towards the face next I'm going to bake with this Laura Mercier powder we're talking here because she has never baked until probably a couple weeks before and she said she's never tried it because she was intimidated but now she bakes not because of me she's baked before me just a little bit before but it's fun to hear other people that had never tried it before so if you're scared to try it just try it like there's no harm in trying different techniques with makeup you can learn something new but this is just a fun way to set your makeup especially if you are oilier speaking of oily i'm going to get this concealer and apply this on her lids to give her a nice even base for those of you guys that have oily lids this is a great trick lauren curtis does not have oily lids but for those of you that do definitely taking a strong concealer like this one will definitely let your eyeshadow shine so now as you guys can see we have a clean prepped base for her eyeshadow so this eyeshadow that i'm going to take is by morphe this is the 35 om palette uh 35 orange i believe that stands for o and then m meaning matte and i'm just going to take a bunch of warm orange burnt orange shades like this one and i'm going to run this through the crease with my e40 brush by sigma and i'm starting here and i'm just bringing it out winging it Definitely starting with transition shades is the best thing. Please excuse my broken nail. I've had a long week, so I'm glad I still got to film this video despite my missing nails. So moving on, I want you guys to see how I'm holding her lids and patting on an eyeshadow because I feel like not a lot of us talk about the application. So when you are applying makeup on a client, it's not just about the product. Don't blame the product. Maybe it's how you apply the product could make the application better. So as you can see, I put some baking powder right underneath and you can see I am swiping it underneath her eyes and it is clean. So I'm just taking this uh, Laura Mercier powder and using it as a barrier. And I love this brush. This is the Sigma E25. It's amazing for patting on. And as you can see, as I pat that chocolate shade, I'm just going to blend out the edges for a seamless look. For this part, I wanted to line her eyes. That way, the fake lashes would really meld in with hers. I am going to take this one called Lush by, no, no, Tease by Lily Lashes. You guys can use the discount code PSTAR in all caps. 
but this was really really fun and for her look I wanted to take a very peachy blush like captivating onto the outside parts of her cheeks next we're gonna take peach goddess by Jeffree Star this is one of my favorite highlighters of the moment and I'm just dusting this right on top of the blush and it creates such a beautiful glow and then all over her face I'm going to take gold deposit by MAC just to give her a fun bronze glow and this will just give her that Hollywood effect. Definitely taking highlighter down on the neck, on the collarbone, on the cheek with a big fluffy brush is great. Next, I'm taking one of the warm reddish shades in the palette with a flat top angle brush and slightly going underneath the lash line. You wanna be able to rest your pinky on there, that way your hand is super steady. What I am doing is now spritzing her face with Mist and Fix by Makeup Forever and taking her brow powder and shaping her brows. This brow powder is from her. I will link it down below. You can get it, but Benefit has the browsing, which is also really great for blondes and for brunettes. So I'm taking this product with a flat angle brush. And definitely taking the time with someone you don't know for makeup and just talking to them will give you the best application. If you are still even a, an expert makeup artist, it's really great to consult with your client or your friend. So I asked her what she liked, what she used. So she ended up liking her makeup and we had a really fun time doing it. And I feel like if you're a makeup artist, you want to be able to have your client enjoy your makeup application so you can get booked over and over. It's not just about how good of a makeup application you can do, it's about how much fun their experience was or how pleasant their experience was with you. So I'm taking this nude, oh she's nodding. <laughs> so she's taking this Anastasia liquid lipstick and this beautiful peach gloss which will be listed down below and I'm just using this right on her lips. <laughs> All right, everyone, this is the finished look. Thank you so much to Lauren Curtis for coming on my channel. We did a beautiful look on her today, recreated at home. It's a beautiful blown out smoky eye, lots of lashes, of course, full coverage, highlighter, nude lips, which you all can try at home. Tag us on Instagram, check out Lauren's channel. We did a beautiful get ready with me for Jaclyn Hill's birthday party. And we hope you guys subscribe to both our channels. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.